How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is episode 1 of a Let's Play series for Farming Simulator 22 on the mod map Maypole Farms. And we have finally made it from Italy all the way to Ireland. Uh, I'm kind of a mixed bag about this and what I mean by that is I'm excited to start a new adventure and to go into something that is yet to be seen the the thrill and excitement of the unknown is amazing but as you can see i've got eight thousand dollars basically what had happened is i received an email from a nigerian prince and i clicked on that email and we had gotten into a little back and forth and he explained to me how uh he was being deposed from his from his country and and everything was just it, it all happened so fast and so sudden and, and he was telling me about how he just needed a little bit of extra money so he could hire the the right people to to be able to prevent the deposing and i i, I thought i was doing the right thing i sent him a check and all of a sudden i checked back in and all my money is gone the $8,000 I had in a separate account, thankfully I've got something, but I, I'd spent all this money on my new farm and some equipment that came along with it, and all of a sudden all this happened. Thankfully everything cleared and nothing was kind of, uh, you know, nothing was you know, preventing me from being able to move here and, and do all this. Everything was all set before all this nonsense happened, but I mean... Uh, this this is terrible. I, I have no money. I'm gonna have to figure out some means of being able to 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 work and be able to make the farm work. Because right now it's at a kind of a bare minimum. Right now it's just you know a couple tractors and and some equipment, but it's it's nothing stellar. You know, based on the the uh, not the manifest, but the the receipts that I was receiving from the previous owner. Uh, I'm buying all their equipment and, and everything that was there prior to to my purchase and it wasn't much it was like I said it was a couple of tractors and some grass care equipment so I've got to I've got to figure some things out I don't know what I'm gonna do at this point but I'm gonna have to see if there's anybody hiring around these parts that I can maybe get some get some work on the side while working on my farm I don't know but I decided to come up to the farmers market pick up a few things you know get some fruits and veggies and whatnot and be able to head out to the farm and you know have some food so let's go ahead and head out in that direction because we just got to get there so like I said I'm really excited about the the fact that we're here in Ireland that we're now going to just kind of whoa not used to not used to driving on this side of the, of the car or the road it's a little uh, a little different <laughs> anyways I mean I'm gonna have to I've got so many different things to figure out here because I gotta figure out if my bank's gonna be able to give me my money back I came over here with hundreds of thousands of dollars I wanted to be able to to roll from my farm in Italy all the way out to here and I had plenty of money to do it with and now all of a sudden just I have nothing I've got nothing to kind of fall back on oh check it out there's the uh, there's a local shop right there but once we get to once we get to the farm and kind of see everything and see the shape of how everything is looking I can kind of take a good assessment and figure out what it is that I have to do because right now I'm just kind of humming and hawing you know and it's still I'm still kind of in shock I, I just can't believe that something like this would happen to somebody you know just I guess I should have I guess I should have read things a little bit to closer Let's see, I think I got it this way. You know, let me open my uh, GPS just to 
Yeah, okay, yeah, this is the right way I'm going. I tell you what, this is a lovely area. When I kind of did uh, my initial fly up here to get to know the area a little bit and figure out, um, you know, where I wanted to be, I mean, I just, I fell in love. I absolutely fell in love with the area. Just, they got so much stuff going on here, so many things to kind of, to do around here. Got a lovely town just over on the other side of the, other side of the ridge over there. I mean, just got so much going on. Oh, we got the animal dealer right here. Just down the road. That's nice. But, like I said, thankfully we got all the the basics that we need to be able to kind of cover ourselves. We don't... Uh, uh, we don't have anything special. It's all old, and the previous farmer just kind of, you know, he was an older gentleman. He, you know, decided to sell the farm and move closer to the city to where there was a little bit more conveniences and things that he didn't have to do so much on his own kind of thing. So I told him that I was going to keep the farm up and running, and oh, this is my turn right here. Okay, so yeah, this is the farm right here. The house, the house is just over there. So here, let's let's pull over right here. Okay, this is nice. What we got here? We got a oh, the horse barn. Okay. Oh, look at all that. There's a ton of grass there. I can, uh... Huh. Maybe I can do something with that. Big, big bunker silo right here. That's a really nice bunker silo. Bunch of storage. Lots of storage. Okay, okay. I mean, I saw pictures and, you know, saw everything kind of... You know, from a distance, but this, this is, this is better. Oh, hey, here's some of my equipment. There's a windrower right there. A tether. Okay, okay. Oh, little, little mower. Okay, okay. What we got over here on the other side of the bunker silo? Oh, a nice, nice big chicken coop back here. Yeah, nice big chicken coop. It's a nice sheep barn right here. There's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of fields. I'm going to be able to do a lot of with grass and and whatnot. That'll work out nice. Got some storage right here. Got a silo. Nice big silo here. Oh, ooh, there's some of my oh my oh oh ooh. He's got a ha oh he had a half track that oh I didn't realize this was ooh and a Zador okay um hmm okay I oh, got some more uh, some more storage for is that fertilizer yeah fertilizer got it oh the cow barn okay okay we've got uh, Big manure. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's the uh, the the automatic feeder. Oh, nice. That'll be nice. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, we got some good bones here. You know what? Let's go. Let's go up and see the house. The house is right over here. Go through the hedges. Oh, lovely house. Okay. Very nice. Excellent. Well, I mean, I, I got to start figuring out something to do. So what I got to do right now, let me go grab my truck. I'll grab the car and I'll park it up here at the house. Then I will come down, grab a tractor, and I guess I'll have to mow my fields. Because I've got, let's see, one, two, three, three fields that I've got to mow. And I can turn, ooh, you know what? I can turn one of the fields into hay, 
and think about getting some sheep here in the not too distant future and then I can make the other two into silage Ooh, and then I can get paid that would be a good way to get some money right off the bat okay yeah we'll have to we'll have to do that we've got to think about how we're gonna make money you know quickly So let's go ahead and park the truck at the house. Let's see, where's the driveway? It should be right here. Yes, right here. to the garage. There we go. Alright, now the tractors are over here. So let's go ahead and... You know, let's cut through a hedge. There we go. Cut through the hedge here. Go ahead and hook up to the tractor and... The mower, I guess we'll start in, I don't know, I'm guessing maybe the cow pasture, and then make our way over to the sheep, and then into the horses. Uh, let's see, you know what? Let's we'll use a little Zador, I think that'll work. Well, nice, it fires up, no problem. There we go. And now we can, let's see, the gate, I think the gate's on the other side. There we go. Yep, right here. Guess we can just leave that gate open because. Uh, let's see. Now, what we need to do. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's see, we want Let's see, so that would kick it off to left. We got swath dropping, wide spreading. Okay, I think. Let's do this. Let's left swath like that. Lower this down. Here we go. Yeah, so we're definitely going to have to get some money and upgrade our equipment because this this is going to take a while between you know making all the multiple passes and whatnot. Which I mean, it'll work. It obviously worked for the for the previous farmer, but it's one of those we're going to have to to build this up and make it into better than what it was you know it's the equipment we have so we have to make it work but 
when everything's said and done, we're going to have to do something about this. There we go. So just make our way around the entire edge here. Alright, so I think this would be a good point for me to go ahead and cut out. I will bring us back in as soon as I'm done with this field. Watch that tree. Yeah, I'll cut us back in as soon as I'm done with this field and uh, we'll go on to the next one from there. We got a lot of work, a lot of work ahead of us. But that's okay. Never been shy with, uh, with doing work. So, we'll see y'all as, soon as, uh, as soon as I'm done. Alright, so I have made several passes here on this field, and this mower, I don't know how this previous farmer did it. Holy smokes, this thing has given me nothing but troubles. It's cutting, but only just. It doesn't want to swing out properly. It, doesn't, it just doesn't feel right. Like, something just feels wrong with it. Like, it's almost broken, maybe. I mean, it's missing the side skirts on it, so it's just throwing grass everywhere. It seems like the dampeners back here, the the kind of funnel, the windrow, doesn't seem like those are working properly. They just doesn't, nothing seems to be working on this. So I'm going to see if I can sell it off and get something in its place. And I figured that this would kind of give me a good opportunity to be able to kind of introduce myself to some of the locals and kind of figure out, you know, the, whoa, that's not a good first impression, sorry, but to, to kind of introduce myself with some of the locals and see if there's uh, any odd uh, jobs I can pick up or anything along those lines. I figured just kind of be a good opportunity just to kind of, you know, stick my foot in the door and see what I can find out. But. I will go ahead and head up to the shop and see if they'd be interested in pr purchasing this mower back and kind of see if I can get something in its place because at the moment this just isn't working for me. So I will see you all back here once I make it up there. Alright so I'm approaching the shop here, it's just on to my right and I'm like I said I'm just going to go inside, introduce myself and see uh, see what can be done because you know hopefully they kind of got a good lay of the land here and they can kind of introduce me around and see what we can uh, see what we can come up with because like I said I'm, I'm kind of desperate at the moment so whew, yeah one I got to get rid of this I really hope they'll take it but uh yeah I will bring us back in as soon as I'm done all right well I just had an amazing interaction with the owners here it turns out they know pretty much everyone in this whole region. Such lovely, lovely people here. Uh, they, I told them my situation, what was going on. <clears throat> I just bought the old farm uh, just to the southwest of here. And they're like, oh, that's the old Walsh farm. You, Oh, that, okay, okay, that's, that's amazing. Nice to meet you. Did the whole pleasantries and all that. And turns out that... Uh, they had actually been really wanting that mower. There was something about that mower that uh, the farmer there just... He, I guess they were good friends, uh, the old farmer and uh, and the owner here. So they were really, like, really, in, like, really wanted that mower for the longest time. They just wanted to, like, have it to where they could fix it up and kind of have it as a showpiece around here. Because I guess the old man had it for decades it's really really old so when i told them hey i'm just looking to to sell it to buy something else kind of thing they're like oh we'll tell you what we've got something here we'll do an even trade and we'll even give you an extra two thousand dollars because that's how bad they wanted it and they ended up trading me out this nice little john deere deck mower and this is going to work i think so much better with what i have to do it's a bit wider, it's, you know, going to throw everything everywhere, but I've got the windrower, I've got all the other tools necessary to make it worth, you know, picking this up instead of having something that will create a windrow, uh, windrow automatically. So, 
worked out very, very nicely. I'm very happy. They also uh, said because they know a lot of people in the area, they'd be more than willing to help me uh, figure out some, you know, some side jobs if anybody needs any work or anything like that. So we'll uh, definitely be keeping an ear out for them. So let's go ahead and get back to the farm with our new mower and finish doing all this mowing because we got the uh, two well like two and a half fields to do and yeah it's we got a lot of work lots of work to be done so i will meet you back at the field and get to going as soon as uh as soon as we get there all right so i am back here at the field and the farm and full disclosure i'm actually recording this in multiple parts and for some reason this whole outer periphery regrew. And you can see there's the pile of grass I cut from earlier. It's just all this regrew after saving it and coming back into the game later on in the day. So don't know why that happened. It did. And yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a little bit of a bonus. Let's see, let's drop that down. Lower it. All right, here we go. Now this, this is gonna work out much better, much better. Look at that. Oh, that makes me happy. See so yeah, how we're gonna start making all of our rounds around all the fields and like I said we're gonna likely do one hay and the rest we're gonna do in silage in the clamp Oops, because that way we have some hay that's good to go for actually no yeah we'll, we'll definitely do hay we'll do hay and then we will do um, silage. And the reason I'm gonna do some hay is because that way eventually we can, uh, that, that barn right over there in the corner, uh, we can load sheep if we have hay. We could leave it as grass and just you know load whatever we load into the bunker silo. Uh, but I think it would just be better if I have some hay and grass because then, you know, that opens the doors to the horses because horses are going to require hay as well. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I just think it will be much better overall. Oh, yeah, this is, this is so much nicer. So much smoother, very nice. All right, well at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep on working and I will cut us back in as soon as I'm uh, done cutting this. See you in a while. So I'm on the final pass of the cow pasture and it's, I think we're gonna get quite a bit of material out of these fields. I'm really happy about buying this new mower because the other one was just really uncooperative let's let's just put it that way but this one a lot easier to handle but now I'm gonna head over to the sheep pasture and then the horse paddock and then we should uh, should be good to go from there I'm just gonna leave these gates open because I have no animals so no sense in trying to put it all away Let's see, I think we follow this around over here. Is it? No, not there. I think it's just on the other side of this. Yep, there it is. Perfect. All right, here we go. Field number two.
Excellent. Just follow this all around. We're going to get quite a bit of grass off of these fields. I'm uh, fairly certain we're going to do pretty well with these three fields. But then we've got to wait the two months before it's, you know, silage and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how everything goes, but we're going to we're going to have to put in the work. I mean, you can see we got about 10 grand worth of worth of worth of money and ugh, we got to figure out how we're going to make that even more but I'm going to finish this field and then move on to the horse paddock bring you back in when I'm done completing the last pass here on this field and oh one little there we go. Perfect. And now, have to complete the horse paddock and then be good to go. And then we just gotta load everything into the various places. Like I said, I think I'm gonna make hay and the rest into silage. Let's see, horse packs over. Yep, right straight ahead and perfect. And you know what that uh the tracked uh tractor there, that'll actually work out really nicely because I'll be able to use that to use in the bunker silo when I have to compact it. Ooh, yes, that'll that'll work very nice. two smaller fields will be for silage. The one big one, I'll turn all that to hay because that opens the door immediately to sheep. And it also opens the door eventually to horses. So that'll work out really nice because I'll have more than enough for the sheep because that's all it takes. Horses take... Uh, hay, oats, I think it's hay, oats, and sorghum. There we go. Yeah, this is working perfectly. I love this mower. This mower is saving my bacon. All right, I will finish this field and then get to work on uh, the tedding, windrowing, and everything else. See you in a while. All right, finishing. All right, finishing up the last couple of passes here. last little bit there we go mowing is totally done now now we have to uh, go ahead and Ted now let's go ahead and put this mower away So I can 
just there, there we go. Now we're talking. Oh, you know what I ought to do? I ought to look at the used section and see what kind of equipment they have. You know what? Let me look on my phone here real quick and see what they got. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. That Crone Tether there for seven grand at 8.2 meters. Ooh. Compared to the little itty bitty one that I have, that might be worth it. You know what? I think I'm going to go buy it. Because how much can I... Let's see, how much does it say I can get this? Ah, uh, but I would get more. You know what? Alright, yep, I'm going to do it. I'm going to run up to the shop real quick. I'm going to go and get that used uh, tether. And that'll make the job that much faster. So I will see you back here in a little while. All right, so I am just about to pull back into my farm here, and thankfully, luckily, whoops, wrong turn. Wrong, wrong, it's all wrong. Anyways, thankfully, I was able to get this uh, new tether here. This thing was only $1,000 when everything was said and done. A thousand bucks that I paid for this. I was able to turn my other one in and get this one on the extreme discount. So, yeah, I'm pretty uh, pretty thrilled with that. Here we go. Perfect. Doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Best thousand dollars I ever spent. <laughs> Love it. And yeah, this this tether here has some age, it has some, you know, has some use. But at the end of the day, it's to me it was worth every penny. I was able to more than what double my working width. I think almost like three times as much, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, regardless, it's bigger. I'm gonna be able to make more. I'm gonna get more tetted in less passes and for a thousand bucks that right there the time that it's going to save me is worth that money by itself so i'm going to continue to ted this field i'm only going to ted this field and then i need to windrow and pick it up load everything into the bunker and go from there all right i'm on the last little bit here There we go, perfect. So yeah, this is the only field we're tedding, and then we're gonna move on to windrowing and picking everything up off these fields. We've got so much product. I'm actually really shocked and just how much we're gonna have here. This should be a good first yield, and I don't, unfortunately I have nothing to be able to boost the yield up with. All I have is what I have here, so I don't have anything to, you know, lay down fertilizer. I don't have anything to lay down lime. It's just, it is what it is kind of thing. But at least it's going to, you know, produce something. So I might just have to kind of deal with it for a little while until, you know, everything's, you know, all good to go. So I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see. Let's go put this away in its new home. 
and then we'll need the windrower and then the uh, forage wagon. tucked around the corner over here. Honestly, let me put this there we go. Put this right here. So I can already tell that all the updates, all the upgrades are going to have to focus around grass first so we can start getting as much product off the field as possible. And then once we have all the product, then we can start to worry about, you know, what the next next steps are from there. So we're going to have to need we're going to have to get a bigger windrower, bigger uh, tetters, bigger forage har uh, forage wagons. I mean, the whole nine yards. It's like everything's going to have to focus solely around grass care for at least the time being. All right, so we need to kind of hug the corners as best as possible. We're going to have to drag this in quite a ways. But so far it's working. It's working well. I'm, I'm so, so tickled pink. I'm really happy with this. But I will go ahead and... Let's see. Go ahead and finish up this field, move on to the next, and I might go and grab, oops, 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 I'm missing some bits. There we go. I might grab the other tractor and start picking this up, I don't know. Oy, 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 I keep driving away. There we go. All right, but I will go ahead and cut us out here and cut us back in as soon as I'm done. We'll see you in a while. All right, so I finished windrowing this first field here, and I wanted to get on to picking it up because, whew, this was a lot bigger project than I originally had thought. And, whew, this is going to be a lot of work. I just want to pick up some of these end bits where it's kind of more concentrated. Wow, look at that. We are <laughs> we are going to get a lot off of this field. Ooh man, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a lot of work ahead of us. And there we go. One not even one full row. I think this first row here I'm gonna go ahead and dump into the sheep pen in anticipation for sheep. And I'll just keep loading and loading and loading until it's maxed out. Let's see. I could throw a bunch of hay in here too. Again, in anticipation for cows. Okay. So we'll bring this right over here. 16,100 liters. Uh, 
Oh yeah, that's perfect. Wow, this is gonna hold a lot, isn't it? Okay, well. I'm gonna keep on keeping on. I will uh, cut us back in as soon as this is all done. All right, so I am on the last pass here in this field. This will be all taken care of, everything picked up, and I have put everything into the sheep barn. It has a massive amount of storage in there. Didn't realize just how much was going to be able to be stored. And that's a good, that, that's really, really good because, you know, I want to, you know, very, very quickly get into sheep. And with this amount of uh, hay that's in there, I'll be able to get a pretty decent amount of sheep very, very quickly. So this all works out very nicely and I'm very happy about it. So let's go ahead and dump this last bit out and we'll see just how much is tucked away in there. We'll be able to have sheep for a good long time, even a high amount of sheep for a good long time. So let's come over here. Yeah, look at this, 150,000 liters and 156,000 liters. That's that's a ton of gra a ton of hay, tons and tons of it. So that works out very nicely. But I need to do something else about this windrower. This windrower is way too small. I don't know how this how this guy did this. That was hours worth of work just to windrow and pick up one field. It was massive the amount of effort I just went through. I've got to do something. I might have to borrow a little bit of cash, go to the bank, and get some equipment because this just isn't going to cut it. This just is not going to work. And it's going to take way too long for me to just keep going back and forth, back and forth. So. I think that at the end of the day, I'm going to just suck it up and, you know, invest. And even though I've only got $6,000, uh, almost $7,000 left, I need to do something. This is just too much. So I will pick up a new windrower and, yeah, get back to work. See you in a while. All right, so pulling back in here at the farm. Got myself a brand new windrower. I am very happy about this. This almost triples the amount of size that I had from my old windrower. And yeah, this uh, this is going to help out a lot. A lot. So, I mean, it's it stinks that we started out with the equipment that we did. But it's one of those that, like I said, I bought all this stuff kind of... You know, sight unseen. I, I was going around the area. I I got to kind of see everything virtually. Had the uh, you know a state agent kind of go through and show me everything. You know, via you know conferencing calls and all that stuff. So it was one of those that you know I got to see all this stuff, but you really don't appreciate what what's going on until you actually see and have to use it in real life so here I am now thirty thousand dollars in debt right off the bat and oof and having to you know get this get these jobs done so I wasn't planning on going into debt so you know as soon as I showed up here but between you know getting my money stolen and you know not having the, the the I mean yeah just not having the equipment I thought I had or thought I would have you know considering the amount of property that we have here and everything that's kind of going on just I don't know just seems like we're wildly under equipped under equipped so I mean it is what it is and 
got to do what I got to do. So I'm going to finish windrowing this field, then move on to the uh, horse paddock. And once all that's done, then I can start picking everything up, throwing it in the bunker silo, and get everything covered. So I will bring you back here as soon as I'm done with this field and moving on to the next. All right, we're finished with the sheep field. Now over to the horse paddock. Let's get that one done. And then we can start picking everything up and put it right here into the bunker silo. See you back here in a little bit. Just about done with all the wind rowing. This new wind rower worked out so much better. Holy cow. All right, there we go. Let's fold this up. And now we need to load all this into the bunker here as well as compact it, which I think perfect uh, vehicle for the job for that is going to be the, uh, the tracked vehicle that we got. The New Holland. Let's see, let's back this up. There we go. Now, let's start picking up all this grass and getting to work. There we go. And here we go. So here I am just laying this all out in the bunker here and we've got to get it as even, evenly spread out as possible because the more bumps and waves I don't have any equipment to kind of scrape it all down and to make it all smooth so I'm going to be just kind of going in as slowly as possible turning on the cruise control set at four miles an hour trying to start at the same position end at the same position and I think that that'll work out kind of the best uh, all things considered so like I said, I'm going to keep on working, hooking all this grass up, and load it in the bunker. See you all in a while. Alright, getting ready to pick up the last little bits here. Perfect. Now let's go dump this out. We'll unload this into the silo in the bunker here. I think right here in the middle will work just fine. tractor really is not meant to handle riding over top of the bunker here. I've got very thin wheels. There we go, perfect. But the other tractor will go perfectly. There we go. Let's go grab the other tractor, fire it up, and compact that silo, because that's pretty much done. Here we go. We 
fire it up is come to life. This should just crush this. Oh, you know what? Probably should have the help window so I know how much it needs to be crushed. Oh yeah, look at that. It's working out pretty nicely. 20%. Alright, well, I'm just going to keep driving back and forth on this until we get to 100%. Alright, we're at 96%. Just need four more. Just keep running this over. 98 99. There it goes. That's what we were looking for. 100%. And now it's covered. We are making silage. 150,000 plus liters. That worked out very, very nicely. But. We got all that work done. I am I'm shocked and impressed in how much we got done today. Whew. Let's go ahead and park this. Perfect. Well, that is it. That is the first episode of Maple Farms. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows you're engaged with this channel and join the content. And that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.